Hey guys, this is Nikhil and this is the first video of my series on parallel programming in Python. So parallel programming, what is it? So first of all, let us consider that you have been given a problem to solve. So this is a complete problem that you have. And now you um, realize that your problem can be subdivided into four parts. Now by dividing, I mean that this part does not need to know anything about all the other parts and the same goes on for other parts as well. So in such a case, what happens is that um, you can execute each part independently of the other so you can run them simultaneously that is the thing in simple cases um, or in the most trivial cases what we do is that when we are given a problem and it has multiple parts then those parts are executed one by one but what if are those all those parts are independent and that's why we can simply execute all those parts um, simultaneously so you can do that if you have multiple processing units right so let's say you have four processors here so what you do is that you give first part to the first processor second part to another and so on so in this way your large problem can be divided into smaller ones and all those problems sub problems can be solved at the same time and this is what um, parallel computing is all about and the obvious um, advantage that we're getting here is that um, we are saving time because um, in the simple case it, if it takes time t then in the case of parallel computing um, in this particular case when I have four processors and I assume that everything happens perfectly then it will take only one fourth of the total time so that is a much um, better way of doing the same thing right so in this way parallel computing works and it helps you to just save your time so now um, there are met, uh, various ways of implementing parallel computing. So parallel computing is actually just a concept and when you try to implement it in various ways then we um, get some different ways of implementing parallel computing. So there is multiprocessing and there is multithreading. So these are two ways of implementing parallel computing or parallel programming or multitasking. So in this video series, we are first going to take multiprocessing and we are going to just try to learn everything about how to implement multiprocessing in the Python programming language. And after that, we'll move on to multithreading, right? So this is um, uh, what our course is going to be. So without any delay, let's get started. 